Okay, and today we're going to also work on Karina. Uh, she's been doing a lot of guitar playing and being under some stress of just life itself and different little things we get to have, our little personal dramas and stuff we get to grow from. So I'm going to be working her shoulders and back. So we're going to apply a little bit of oil. Okay. I want to take the time to thank everybody that's been so positive and getting so much out of these videos because they've been a lot of fun to make and I'm glad that they're being um, a point of reference and something for you to learn from. This sort of work is going to be the medicine of the future. We're going to be working much more intimately with people. I don't think the hacking and cutting and sawing and poisoning is going to be the popular thing in a little while. So it's good for me to see that a lot of people's minds are open to the possibilities of new ways of looking at how to deal with our, our infirmities and our dis-ease. Just doing a pretty standard work, making sure that we get all the muscles down along the spine worked out. Is this the shoulder that underneath? Mm -hmm. Is it the other one? Kind of both of them, but that's the one that is bothering me. This one's bothering you more. Mm -hmm. So we're lifting up the scapula here. There's a tight spot. Is that it? Mm -hmm. So we're getting under the scapula here, and this seems to be the point right about here. Not only does she play a lot of guitar, but she's also carrying a camera around most of the time. Along with who else knows what else she's up to. The muscle work that we do is really an important part of, of our well-being because it does keep our, the physicality, the more gross anatomy and alignment, and it keeps the circulation going well and muscles that are supple. But what people are beginning to learn and discover is that there's more subtle parts of the body, like the cranial system, which brings in a lot more results at a deeper, deeper level. Uh, some of the stuff that's quite involved, some of the issues that are quite involved can be handled with cranial sacral work. And then the lymphatic work is another one that's very important to the system because that a good healthy lymphatic system will keep toxins moving out of the body and it's an important thing to keep that area of the body working as it works better, you'll find that you probably will want to eat better. You'll be craving better foods. And you might even become a little more aware of the importance of paying attention to your diet and getting the right nutrients. 
I also feel it's very important to understand what nutrients it is that our bodies are lacking because the tendency seems to be that there's so many good supplement manufacturers out there that have different formulas and they all work differently and some work better for some people than others. But we should be careful that just because they're good that we don't want to take too many of them and we also need to, we need to have a guide for what we're doing and where we're going with it. What system are we going to work on and what are we going to take? Because there can be some um, things that could be contraindicative if we're not careful with that as well. So sensibility and reason and asking questions and just learning a new way to do it is really, really important. One of the better ways I've discovered to um, know what's happening internally with the body is through a sound therapy, not so much just the bowl, the singing bowls, but sound therapy of uh, having an actual vocal print taken. Uh, Sherry Edwards of Sound Health is probably the biggest mastermind of that. And we can see from the frequencies what's lacking, what kind of parasite might be in our body, what kind of toxin or different things like that. It's quite fascinating. I'm just very new at the work, so I can't speak as a person that n knows much about it. But I have seen some very interesting things. One person's chart showed a... Uh, in the predictive, something to come, that there was a problem that was going to happen with some connective tissue. And when I had a chance to tell him about that, he had already pulled his hamstring. And the voice print did also mention that it was going to be one of the hamstring muscles. So that's the accuracy. We can see cancer coming in a voice print. So as we begin to start with the simplest of body work, begin to get ourselves into this new position of therapy and understanding, you're going to have the doors open and you're going to discover so much that there is out there that's so simple and so valuable and it's also very effective that we're going to wonder why we've been accepting this archaic type of medicine that has its place but not in the way that it's been practiced for so many years. There's other ways of doing things which we should be able to explore and have choices in. So I'm just getting Karina's back all straightened up so she can go play the guitar with a big smile on her face. Up. Okay. Now, one more thing, which I think is fun, is sometimes the vibration of these bowls is um, helpful. And this big bowl is particularly nice on the sacrum. And in that she's got a little bit of a back pain. We'll put another bowl higher up on her back. The vibration is what's nice. I played this little bowl just by my ears and it felt as if the pain in my back was a little bit relieved. And I didn't even do it for very long. So we'll just give her some vibration. This is another modality I'm learning about. And when the tones come together, they make a beat tone. They're very healing, changes frequency, and they change sounds. The bowls will change sounds depending on a person's energy. 